On Tuesday, February 20th, the Life Skills class and the History Club had the privilege of speaking with Paul Schimmel. Mr. Schimmel represents us, Franklin County, and the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. Here is the exclusive interview and some highlights. I'm here with today. I'm State Representative Paul Schemmel. All right, and can you tell us about what you do as a state representative? Sure, state representatives, there are 203 of us in the state of Pennsylvania. We each represent 65,000 people in our uh, individual districts. So my district is basically Southern Franklin County from the top of Blue Ridge Summit all the way to the top of the Tuscarora just west of Mercersburg. And we represent this area, or I represent this area in the state legislature in Harrisburg. Do you have any facts about yourself that you'd like to share? Well, I actually wasn't born here. So that when I first ran, some people said, oh, you'll never be elected because you weren't born, you know, in Franklin County. Uh, I, I was born in Western New York. And when I was a little kid, my dad moved our whole family to Arkansas, which is where I grew up. Uh, and I moved here as an adult, but uh, it's been a great place. I've lived here for well over a quarter century and, and feel uh, very much welcome like anyone else who would have been born here. Uh, do you have any advice for anyone looking to get into sort of government job? So government jobs, there are a lot of jobs the government has. Anything from operating a backhoe and a snowplow to, you know, making you know, important policy decisions. So I would say that, uh, you know, you want to look at those jobs and see what they have to offer. They can be very good jobs, very stable jobs. Uh, see what the qualifications are if you're interested in them and, uh, and try to work toward them. See if you make yourself a good candidate for them. For those that want to run for elected office, you can do that depending on the office. In some cases, as young as 18, uh, but uh, generally you have to be at least 21 for most elected offices. Um, what has been your favorite thing about living here or working here? So what I really love about being a state legislator is I get to see and do a lot of things. So not only learn a lot about Franklin County, which I've you know, knew a lot about already, uh, but actually I get to learn a lot about the whole state. So in the time that I've been in the legislature, I've traveled all across the state. I've been in factories, I've been in, uh, you know, elect hydroelectric dams, I've been on well sites, I've been in downtown urban areas. It's been really interesting, shipping, you know, big shipping centers. Uh, so learning about the state has really been fascinating. It also helps me to understand a lot of the policy that we have much better too. Right, and then finally, do you have any stories from the time you were in high school that you'd like to share? Oh boy, the time I was in high school. Gosh, I have lots of stories from being in high school. What would be appropriate to share? Uh, <laughs> I loved being in high school. I loved I loved every minute of it. I think I went to class too during that time. But I, I had a lot of great teachers. And uh, you know, one thing that I would say is, as a as a high school student, that I didn't always appreciate was how much like my how much the relationship that I had with my teachers would influence me the rest of my life. So, you know, you'll have some teachers you love, some you don't love, uh, but uh, you know, those relationships are really great to foster and uh, teach you life lessons that you'll have with you the rest of your life. All right, thank you. Sure, thank you. All right, so I'm here with Ethan Strode, president of History Club, who helped make this happen. Uh, would you like to say anything? Well, I want to thank all my people, like, like yeah, Holzman's class. I want to thank people from Zerbo's class, even Schaefer and Paul Shavir, and even some of the classes and other ones. But I want to thank them all because this would not be possible if we did not have their support and help. And what's your favorite thing about me, Mr. Schindler? Just the fact that he gets the history because you would not hear this a lot from our areas a lot. Even if you try to do Google searching and all that, so yeah, you're not going to really see that a lot. Right, any plans for the next guest the history couple has? <laughs> well, I don't know, but we'll see what the future brings for us. Alright, thank you. You're welcome.